Hello, this is Pinky. Uh, this will be a video on how to add a custom tail to your avatar. Uh, in this video, I'll be using the Nardo Dragon by Nardo as an example, and I will be attaching the fluffy tail to it. I will leave uh, links to both of these in the description. But to start, we're gonna have to first find this F uh, our FBX file, and we are going to import this into Blender. So I've already uh, found where they would be and I made my own file for the two but in this case you would just put your unity project path up here and then you would click on the Nardo Dragon five fingers dot fbx uh, but I already have it set up so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna import it and as you can see we now have our Nardo here and next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import the fluffy dragon uh, tail as you can see this will be what we're gonna be adding to our avatar so for now I'm just gonna press H I'm gonna click on this left click and press H to hide it and I'm gonna do same with the bones gonna click on it press H to hide it so the first step will be removing the tail so to remove the tail what you have to do is I'm gonna quickly click on these and hide them for ease of access I'm going to click on the body of this avatar, then I'm going to go over to UV editing. And as you can see, this will be a big like scramble. So just click over here, click off, and then you're going to press L and you're going to select the body. And now right down here, as you can see, this is the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to press and hold left click and I'm just going to drag it over this until I get to about right here and this will be kind of where I cut off and we're gonna do the exact same over to the other side so I'm just gonna quickly go like this and make sure that's symmetrical so it's up to this one and there we go. Next step will be going up here and there will be this UV tab. And then down here it will be show and hide faces and we're gonna click hide unselected. So that we'll only have this show up. Now we're gonna move to this window. We're going to right click and we'll have this menu pop up and we're gonna wanna click delete vertices. So as you can see now, the tail is deleted. Uh, and that is exactly what we want. Now the next step will be deleting this fluff. So I'm just gonna click L on every single piece. So you just keep clicking L, it will just add them to this list. And then click delete vertices and then do the same for this fluff up here. So go over them, click L a bunch, make sure you get them all done. and then click delete vertices. Now that that is done, what we are going to do is we're going to go back up here to edit mode. We're going to click on this and then we're going to click again on edit mode. And now we'll be editing the bones for this uh, tail. And this was the old tail. So what we're going to do, click here. And I believe this is, as you can see, armature uh, 01. So I'm just gonna shift click on every single one of these to make sure that they're all highlighted. And then I'm going to delete selected bones. There we go. And now we should be left with the single bone right here. This should be called, uh, I believe, tail root. So if we go up here, hips, tail root. Yes, this is our last one. We wanna keep this one because we're going to attach the other tail to it. So now that we have done with this, we can switch back to object mode. And now what we're going to do is we're going to unhide this. So uh, I believe it's up here. Show slash hide, show hidden objects. And now they will all appear again. So again, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to hide these two. Now moving over to over here, we're going to minimize these two and we're going to press uh, click on armature then we're going to hold shift and click on the tail armature 
and we're going to move over to this window, press right click, and then click join. Now this will join our stuff together. So now our next goal is we're going to be combining the body and the tail. So I'm going to click on the tail, I'm going to shift click on the body, I'm going to press control J again, and that will now join the tail with the body. And as you can see, it is attached to our body, but the tail is actually not like in bone yet. So now what we have to do is we have to click on this bone and we have to go to edit mode. We have to take, click on this one and then press shift, click here. And then there should be a parent and make, click that, keep offset. And now they are parented. To check this worked, you open up armature, open up uh, hips, and then open up tail root. And as you can see, the rest of the tail now follows. That means you've successfully linked this uh, tail root and that this is done. So now you're ready to export your model over to your Unity file. So to do this, I will go in here. I will find this by going search folder and Inside of here, I can now see this is the file I want to replace. So I'm going to click up here, control C, and I'm going to grab that path. I'm going to head over to Blender. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go to FBX. And now inside of this bar here, I'm going to click control V, press enter. And there should be this. So I click on it and now it's going to override it. And now we're going to go over here to the settings. We're going to turn off bake animation and we're also going to turn off add leaf bones. And over here, depending on your model, some models will require you to change it to FBX all uh, for the Nardo dragon. You do not have to, so you only have to do local all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click export and head over to my unity. It will take a few seconds for blender to uh, actually port the avatar over but you'll know it's working when your Unity starts to freeze because it's loading the new file. So you just gotta give it a bit of time. There we go. And as you can see, it is now importing the new changed Nardo. Now, you may have noticed that after importing, your avatar is now invisible and it looks to be broken. While this is the case, if you drag this new FX file in, you can see that we have successfully added the tail. But this comes at the cost of our original project being broken. So I'm going to use a tool called Pumpkin's Avatar Tool to fix this. I will throw a link to this in the description. It is completely free, but I'm going to download it from the website. It's a GitHub. And I'm going to drag this into our Unity project. I'm going to click Import. I'm going to wait for the package to successfully import. Now, after this imports, there should be a window that will pop up here called pumpkin. So this is the pumpkin avatar tools. So we're going to open this up, go to tools, go to avatar tools, and we are going to select this game object. So we're going to hold this and drag this in. Uh, for ease, I'm going to actually rename this to Nardo Dragon Fluff for fluffy tail. And now uh, after dragging that into here, I'm going to scroll down and, or scroll up and you will see copy components. So it's going to be copying components from another game object. So I'm going to grab this, drag it in here. I'm going to select everything I want for now. I'm just going to leave it how it is. And I'm going to do copy selected. Now, if everything has worked out right, you will now see that you have your VRChat avatar descriptor here, and you will also have uh, all your Fizzbone scripts here. So our next step will just be to go into the materials and just drag everything where it needs to be. Okay, so that now everything is here. What I can do is I can click on the uh, 
tools, enable AV3, throw it up above the avatar, click play. And if everything is right, the tail should now move properly. And as you can see, you've successfully added a brand new tail to your avatar. You can edit the fizz bones however you want. I just use the default Nardo ones, but yeah. And if you go over to here, go to body controls and go to tail wag, as you can see, the animation successfully works. This also means that people can grab the tail and everything. So you've successfully added a tail to your avatar. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. This has been Pinky, and uh, please like and subscribe.